So hey guys, what's up? So welcome to my news channel. So starting from the first news, 2019 could be second warmest year on record. According to WMO, the second year 2019 is likely to end as the second or the third warmest ever. The World Meteorological Organization said Tuesday in the latest of the series of the warning in recent months about a rapidly worsening climate scenario. Global mean temperature for January to October 2019 was 1.1 degrees Celsius. Above pre-industrial levels, 2019 is likely to be second or third warmest year on record. The past five years are now almost certain to be the five warmest year on record, and the past decade, 2010 to 2019, to be the warmest decade since the 1980s. Each successive decade has been warmer than any preceding decade since 1850. The WMS said in a provisional statement on the state of the global climate in 2019, the Twitter Secretary General of the WMS said that these numbers were provisional since the year was not yet out, but unlikely to change significantly over the next one month. The warmest year on record so far has been 2016. WMA report said the average global atmospheric concentration of the carbon dioxide in 2018 had touched 407.8 parts per million, which was 147% of the pre industrial levels, which is taken to be 750. Other greenhouse gases like the methane and the nitrous oxide had also touched record levels in 2018. This year, the daily average carbon dioxide concentration crossed 415 ppm for the first time ever, though it has been reseeded after that. The annual Average is likely to be below that level. The State of the Climate Report also noted that a really strong Indian Ocean Depot IOD that well this year. Positive IOD is characterized by warmer than usual waters in the western Indian Ocean. To us, the Arabian Sea and the cooler than the average temperature in the eastern Indian Ocean near the Indonesian coast. The worst situation is called negative IOD. This difference in sea difference temperature derives a number of regional weather events this year. The the poll was strongly positive and was believed to have parties responsible for unusually high rainfall in August and September as well as delayed monsoon withdrawal for India. The development statement came on the second day of the climate conference in Madrid where negotiators from the nearly 200 countries are meeting amounting pressure from for action to safeguard the planet from the catastrophic impacts of the climate change. So move to the next news. China uses DNA to map faces with help from the West in a dusty city in the Xinjiang region on China's western frontier. The authorities are testing the rules of the science. With one million or more ethnic Uyghurs and others from the predominantly Muslim minority groups swept up detentions across the Xinjiang officials in the Tumuk sect have gathered blood samples from the hundreds of Uyghurs as part of the mass DNA collection effort dogged by questions about consent and how the data will be used. In Tumuk, at least there is a partial answer. Chinese scientists are trying to find a way to use a DNA sample to create an image of a person's face. The technology which is also being developed in the United States are now there is in the early stages of development and can produce rough pictures good enough to only a narrow manhunt or perhaps eliminate suspects. But given the crackdown in the Shenzhen expert on ethnics in a science worry that China is building a tool that could be used to justify and intensify racial profiling and other state discrimination against the Uyghurs. In the long term, experts say it may be impossible for the communist government to feed images produced from a DNA sample into the mass surveillance and facial recognition system that it is building and tightening its grip on the society by improving its ability to track the dissident and protesters as well. Criminals, some of the research is taking place in the labs and by the China's Ministry of the Public Security. At least two China state is work, working with the Ministry on the technology have received funding from respective institutions in Europe. International scientific journals have published their findings without examining the origin of the DNA used in the studies or writing the ethical questions raised by collecting the sample in the Zhengzheng. In papers, the Chinese scientists say the poor norms set by the International Association of Scientists, which would be required. The man in the Zhengzheng pronounced by the team Shok gave their blood in the willingly, but in the Zhengzheng, many people have no choice. The government collects samples under the winner of the mandatory health check of program according to those who have left the country, those who placed in intermediate camps, two of which are Tom Suka also have little choice. Police prevented reporters from the New York Times from the interviewing the Tom residents, making verifying consent in the possible. Many residents have vanished in any case of the road to one of the internet camps, and entire neighborhood have been buzz bulldozed into rubble. Growing number of the scientists and human rights activists say the Chinese government is exploiting the components of the international scientific community to harness research into the human genome for questionable purposes. Already, China is closing. Using facial recognition technology to sort of people by ethnicity, it is also researching how to use DNA to tell if a person is Uyghur. Research on the genesis behind the site. The faces of the Temus man could be half bridge between the two. China's building essentially technology used for hunting people, said Mark Rosagel, an assistant professor at the University of Winston, Ontario Tech, who tracks Chinese interest in the technology in the world of the sentence. Mr. John said that there is a kind of culture of complicity that has now given way to complicity. If you like the channel, so kindly subscribe to it.